When I was 11, my mom was diagnosed with heart failure. She was overweight. When my mom passed away, um, I think it was probably the hardest on Jeff because they were, they were extremely close. I'm spending all this time in the waiting room, and I see this, a Trail Runner magazine. Is the 100-mile ultramarathon the new marathon? Jeffrey was not athletic as a kid. He wasn't really an outdoor kid. In elementary school, I was the epitome of the chubby, funny best friend. Set in the Rocky Mountains of Colorado, runners face some of the longest and steepest climbs in America with a total elevation gain of over 15,000 feet. And I thought what anyone desperate to lose weight would think. You guys, I should do this. <laughs> There's a lot of things that can go wrong in a 100 mile, and no matter how fit you are, he could get altitude sickness, or he could easily pick up an injury. Like you literally can't breathe. It's really, really cold. I was falling apart, you guys. I had blisters upon blisters. Two toenails would fall off in the following weeks. Every muscle in my foot was completely shot. My calves, my calves were fine. My calves are always fine. <laughs> They're always good. <laughs> The scary truth is that people have died while ultra running, and that's terrifying. I think I'm doing this because while she couldn't change her life, I can. All of this was inspired by a quote by Mae West that I have always loved since I was a kid. And Mae West said, you only live once, but if you do it right, once is enough.